We have prepared a traditional service of lessons and carols. I'd like to introduce our worship team. Matthew Pelletier is our flutist. Reverend Dr. Jeffrey Hicks is on the keyboard along with his wife Irene singing the carols and doing a solo. And my wife Deborah will be doing a solo in carols as well as myself. We begin now with a brief word of prayer. Gracious God, we ask that your light will shine brightly in this service. For we believe that all who receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Amen.
a son, and will call him Emmanuel. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Yeah. 
angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger.
Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. What did Mary know? What did she know as she treasured and pondered all these things? First, Mary knew hope. An angel came to her, revealing that the Holy Spirit would, in the future, give birth to a son who would ascend to the throne of David, and Mary would be his mother. Further, an angel came to Joseph. Mary will become pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Call him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Hope for what is revealed. Hope for what has been prophesied. That which is revealed and has yet to happen. Mary had hope that God would accomplish all that was promised through the birth of her son, Jesus, who she had been told would happen. As a people of faith, our hope is in what God has done and in what has yet to be accomplished. The candle of hope. Mary knew peace. She and Joseph had been chosen, and they accepted their unique calling and obediently trusted God. Their path was not an easy path. Think of Nazareth. Mary and Joseph, were they subject to small town gossip? Who could they tell that an angel had predicted that the Holy Spirit would cause Mary to be pregnant? And certainly, at the very least, it was a very difficult journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Yet, in their relationship with God and with one another, they were made whole, they were at peace. As a people of faith, God grant us peace as we desire also to trust and faithfully follow you. The candle of peace. Mary knew joy. The joy of the safe delivery of her baby Jesus. Mary knew the shepherd's joy, the men who praised God as they proclaimed the birth of the Savior. And yet, it would be 30 years before Jesus would begin his public ministry. As a people of faith, we know joy as we celebrate Jesus' birth. May we also know joy as we bear witness to how God is uniquely at work in our lives. The candle of joy. Mary knew love. She had found favor with God. The bond that was born with the birth of Jesus. Mother and child, the love of a supportive husband. As a people of faith, we know love. For we've been taught, let us love one another, for love comes from God, and everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. The candle of love. Hope, 
peace, joy, love, sealed and delivered through the birth of Jesus. The Christ candle. For God so loved the world that he gave his Son, that whosoever believes in him might not perish, but have everlasting love. Just as Mary treasured and pondered all these things in her heart, let us treasure and ponder all that we believe as Christians, both what has been accomplished, what is being accomplished, and what will be accomplished as we trust God.